It, oh, yes. Okay. So in this case, again, you're asking yourself to <coughs> raise to what number is negative 32? And once you guys get kind of used to these, they'll start making a little bit more sense. So Ryan, the first problem that we look at is I could say 2 raised to what number equals negative 32? So I can write this in exponential form. And that's the way I like to visualize it. Because logs, you know, even though logarithms are great, but what do they really say? 2 raised to what power gives you negative 32? Well, the first number that usually come up to people is 2 to the, we know that 2 to the fifth power. If you guys remember my last, last problem I did, 2 to the fifth power is 32. 2 multiplied by itself 5 times is 32. But it's positive 32, not negative 32. So what most students do is say, well, then why, doesn't, um, why don't we do negative 5? Well, the problem with that is because that, when you have the negative 5, that's 1 over 2 to the fifth. Yes? Can't you just make the base negative? But that's not the problem. The base is already positive. If it was negative, it would be a different problem. right? The base is positive. You can't just change it. right? So the problem is saying 2 raised to what number equals negative 32? So does anybody know of any other number that we're going to have to issue? Well, guess what, guys? Because this equals 1 over 32. And you just can't, hey, you can't just write in a negative number or anything else. Guess what? This is no solution. Or undefined. Uh, actually, no, not no solution. It would be undefined because you're evaluating. That is correct.